Hello! Welcome to this video tutorial on how to find and identify different types of articles. If you haven't yet watched my video on understanding the differences between popular and scholarly or peer-reviewed articles, I recommend you do so before watching this video. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Whenever you set out to find articles, we recommend starting by searching in library databases. Why? Because our databases are actually set up to help you identify and find different types of articles very easily. For example, in our EBSCOhost databases, the search results tell you what kinds of articles are showing up. You can use the filters on the left-hand side to select only the types of articles you want to see. Keep in mind that not all academic journal articles are peer-reviewed. If you need to find a peer-reviewed article, there is a checkbox on the left for that also. Bear in mind that not every part of a peer-reviewed journal issue is a peer-reviewed article. Peer-reviewed journals also publish things like book reviews, letters to the editor, editorials, and opinion pieces which are not peer-reviewed. So when you check the peer-reviewed box in a database, avoid those types of articles to make sure you are only getting the peer-reviewed content. If you ever want to double-check that your article is from a peer-reviewed journal, you can click on the article title to get to the details page. From there, click on the journal title, sometimes labeled as the source. This will take you to a details page about that whole journal. On this page, there is a section which tells you whether or not this is a peer-reviewed journal. Alright, so that's all well and good, but what if you find articles on the open web, like from search engine results? How do you identify what kind of article you have found then? First off, you should know that searching with a search engine like Google is not likely to find you very many scholarly articles. You are more likely to find websites, wiki articles, blogs, and online newspaper and magazine articles. The first step to identifying what you found is to look around on the page for clues. Look along the top of the page and scroll all the way to the bottom if possible to try to find a clue. For example, on this article from The Atlantic, we see the word magazine at the top. Or if you can find a link that says about or about us or contact us, click on it and read it. Many times they will tell you what they are, a website, a blog, a newspaper, a magazine. If they don't or if you cannot find an about page, the next step is to open a new tab or a new window in your browser. Then search in your favorite search engine for the title of the website you found. Many search engines now have a built-in window on the side that will often tell you a little bit about the site you searched and what it is. For example, this article from TechCrunch doesn't give us any good clues about what type of article it is. So we can do a quick Google search to find out. If you need to find a scholarly article, we recommend using our library databases because they are the easiest to use for that task. However, if you must use the open web, you should use Google Scholar or another open access database like PubMed. These will get you almost all scholarly articles as results. However, if you need a peer-reviewed article, these open access databases are harder to use because they don't usually have a peer-reviewed checkbox like our library databases have. In order to determine whether or not an article is peer-reviewed, you'll have to find the title of the journal the article is from. Then do a search engine search for the title of the journal. Note that sometimes you will have to add the word journal to the search. From there, you can usually figure out whether or not the journal is peer-reviewed. Locating scholarly articles is just the first stage of your task. The next task is to read and understand the article you have found. 
This can be a challenge, especially for those who are not used to reading scholarly articles. Scholarly articles use a lot of terminology and high-level vocabulary, so allow yourself extra time to look up terms and process the information when you're reading it. Scholarly articles follow a very similar format to each other that will become familiar to you as you read more of them. They usually have an abstract at the beginning, which is a brief synopsis of what the article is all about. Then there is an introductory section, which establishes the history of the topic and the current environment for the research being done. Depending on the type of article, there may be a literature review section or a section describing the design of the study being done. Lastly, the article will report on the results of what they learned from doing the research and give their conclusions based on what they learned. You can visit this Anatomy of a Scholarly Article tutorial made by NCSU Libraries using the link I've provided in the description below. Happy researching!